organic. I was doing a play at, at Chicago's uh, magnificent Steppenwolf Theater in 1995, a Sam Shepard play called Buried Child. And this great actor named Leo Burmester, who uh, is no longer with us, he was this great, uh, uh, ebullient character actor from Kentucky. And he had, he had worked at the Actors Theater of Louisville, and he knew not only of Wendell's work, but he knew the family and the community. And one day he handed me a book of these short stories. We had become friends, and he said, I think, I think these are up your alley. And I read them, and, I, and it changed my life. I just, I mean, he was so right on the money. Because all of his, he, he writes poetry and essays and fiction, and it all, you know, it's all fueled by the same gas tank of common sense and a simple affection for other people and for the creation, you know, for the creation. He understands that... Uh, no matter how flashy your car is or, or your city, at the root of it, it all had to come from the dirt and the soil and the trees and the water and the air. And we've all been taught to ignore all that stuff and just become really good consumers. And as, as I was making the transition from a little rural town and this family, some of whom are farmers, into living in cities and working as an entertainer, it was exactly the the antidote that I needed because I was like, I, I don't feel good about. I, w I want to continue to be uh, have the gardener mentality that my mom and dad gave me, but here I am learning to take the subway and like you know to never see trees possibly, and so this is something I immediately clung to. Some of the families that he writes about just really moved me and he almost always makes me cry and laugh he's also really funny um and and so i just the more uh i read of his work and the more um and i eventually got to know him and his family and as as a as a performer i don't think you know i do some writing myself but i know that i'm not the greatest writer and so that's how i approach it i say uh let me start off by saying I'm not the greatest writer, but I'll try to make you laugh and pass along some wisdom that I've gleaned from some people that I do think are the greatest writers. And I, I'm so grateful to Shakespeare and to Wendell Berry and a whole bunch in between the two of them because I have a voice and I'm sitting in a chair in front of a camera and he, he's not gonna show up here so I can tell you what he said and it, it all works out. 